Hi everyone, I'm Crazy Eddie, and this is Terra Firma Puck. So, for a lot of the additional mods in this pack, steel is required. It's pretty much the next step in the ladder of machine ages in Terra Firma Craft and therefore in Terra Firma Punk. Only problem is, I need graphite in order to make a blast furnace. And there's none around here. At least none in the uh, nearby area. There are two ways to come up with it. There's the safe, easy, boring way. And then there's the fun, exciting, dangerous way. The exciting, dangerous way, of course, involves going out and exploring for it. Probably somewhere to the south of me, because I've found nowhere in the east, west, or northward directions that I have been able to access by boat. And that also means that this would be an almost entirely overland route. And that would certainly be less safe, considering how safe it is to go by boat. We've all seen the kinds of things that can happen to me on land. Please don't kill me. I don't want to be killed. Button. Ow. And I could end up giving up valuable lives to that. The safe, easy, boring way would be to mine up a bunch of this nice, put it together into cobblestone, break the cobblestone with the hammer into gravel, and sieve my little heart out. There are other benefits to this. All these pieces and parts that I can get from the sieving many of which are useful for other purposes including some of the quests in the quest book. On the other hand, it would give me the opportunity to make this workshop that I've been thinking of and that would give me a chance to get on with some of the other quests in the quest book. Many of which involve technical advances that I don't actually need to explore or make steel to do. And they would also enable me to increase my survivability on further quests. Bears would probably be a lot less scary if I actually had a blunderbuss. So yeah, I think I've made my decision. I'm going to do some mining and I'm going to work on a workshop. 
Okay, I've been digging at these rocks for a while, and I've got quite a bit. And the next part of my plan is going to involve climbing back out of here, maybe. Okay, I wasn't expecting one of those. And it didn't even drop anything. That's not fair. So yeah, there's not a lot of lighting down here because I'm pretty far down and I just haven't properly set it up. But anyway, what I want to do right now is set up a place where I can put this cobblestone down and not have it go sliding off in all directions. And I think I can do that. And I want one long column. Hmm. What time is it? It's kind of late. But anyway, I want one long column of cobble because I'm going to stand at the bottom with the hammer and break it all. So I'm going to go ahead and place this and then I'll go in and get a couple pieces of wrought iron and make a hammer and I'll be right back. And ex nihilo hammer. I shall just take this back on down to the bottom of the shaft. And I've stacked all this vertically so I don't have to like lay the stuff out all horizontally and then go chase after the next one that I haven't done. So let me make sure that this area is clear. Okay, yeah. Whatever is wandering around there is not in this part of the mine. Okay. So now I'm ready to break 251 pieces of cobble. And I really expected stuff to drop. Oh, that's the supports. The supports are keeping the uh, cobblestone from dropping down further, although once I get up to a certain height above those supports, they'll start dropping down again. Oh yeah, that works out just fine. Okay. So I'm going to break all of these into gravel, and then we'll get back with you. And that is the last of my nice cobblestone broken down into gravel. And for my next trick, I plan to run it through a sieve and see how much graphite I can get out of it. Oh, 
although I may want to wait till morning. Or I might not need to. Yeah, let's go for it. Should be one more. There he is. All right, so I'm going to get some water and get some sleep. And then hopefully we can get some graphite. And the process of sieving is just as simple in Terra Firma Punk as it is in any Skyblock map. It's just a different selection of things you can sieve and different selection of things you get out of it. If I were sieving a chalk gravel, I would not get the same things. But I've already got some graphite and kaolinite, so this is really starting to work out. I'll go ahead and deposit everything in here and then sort it out later. And once I've sieved all the stuff I have to sieve, I'll show you what I've got. And out of 10 stacks of nice gravel, I got pretty much all of this stuff in this chest. Except the sand. I also got like uh, 5 or 6 brushes. But I don't really know what to do with them and they don't stack so I threw the extra ones away. I can always get more if I want them. But I did get 12 pieces of graphite and a bunch of kaolinite. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be enough for me to make a blast furnace. But this should be sufficient for all of the smaller items that are made from fire clay. I'll go ahead and grind this up in the corn and see how much I get. So I found that uh, one graphite yields four graphite powder, which is enough to make one fire clay. So the math comes out about the same anyway. I will need 5 graphite and 5 kaolinite. And 5 clay to make 5 fire clay, which will allow us to make a crucible. So, I'm ready to get on with that. And fire clay. And apparently all we have to do is carve out the shape. And we have a crucible.
which we can simply place right there and it's ready to use. Now this is going to save a lot of time with some things and it's going to make other things possible that weren't before. For instance, I can actually take these old anvils and melt them back down into the ingots that they came from. And I also have about seven bronze poignard blades that I think I might be able to melt down again. So I think it's time to load up the forge. I think it's time to load up the forge and see what I can get out of it. Let's see, I can put the blades in there. Let's see what it takes to melt it. It'll take a few minutes to heat up, of course. And while that's happening, I'll just have a nice drink of water. Maybe two. Because running a forge is thirsty work. Now I'm certain this will get hot enough to melt the blades. Assuming that they can be melted at all. And it's possible that they might not be meltable once they're forged. Which is kind of a shame. But that's okay, I have other uses for this forge as well. Like melting down this anvil. reclaiming the 14 copper ingots that it's made of. The crucible is also really handy where it comes to making alloys. Which is good. I'll be looking up the alloy for brass soon because there's a lot of stuff that I need to do with brass. As for the blast furnace, I think I'm going to have to sieve a lot more graphite to make that, which is going to take some time. And certainly won't be occurring during this episode. But I do have a plan for how I want to uh, finish off this episode.
basically I think it's time to start a new chapter in this quest book. This chapter right here. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to make that uh, basement for the workshop. And then I shall get on with making that pendulum. Now, since shale bricks seem to be my most plentiful block that I had uh, rescued from those uh, hydra castles, that's what I'll be starting off with. I should at least have enough here for the floor. And might have enough for some walls, too. This workshop is going to start off awfully small, it seems. Wow, this kind of looks more like a dungeon than a laboratory. But it's a start, which is all we're looking for this episode. So we want to make a pendulum. So, planks, glass, wooden rod, two cogs, and andesite bricks. And a pendulum. just pop this down here until I figure out what to do with it. And the last thing I want to do for this episode is to get some lighting in that lab. Later on I can worry about storage and doors and such and figuring out what to do with this thing but for right now I'll just put down this table and set this candle on top so we got our crucible this episode and we made a pendulum and soon I'll figure out what to do with it until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.